okay. So I do offer two different resume services. Um, the first one is the stress-free resume and we call it the stress-free resume because we literally take all the stress off of your plate. Um, after you sign up, you'll get a really comprehensive questionnaire and by comprehensive, I mean, it will literally go into every possible detail that could be relevant on your resume. So you can feel really confident knowing that everything that could be of relevance is going to be on your resume. Um, we also use our top secret formulas to create that resume. So like I told you guys, I did a lot of research on my own and these are things that I've created from the research that I did. And so it's not Googleable. It's not things you're going to find or hear from your professors. These are things that I found from employers and graduate administrators and professors that I know and love. And they were so gracious to share all that information with me. Next thing, um, we also make sure that everything is really individualized to your needs. So every single sentence is rewritten and composed for your needs, okay? So you're not going to see your same old resume on your new one. It's going to be completely rebuilt. Now, if you want something a little less comprehensive, but you still want to do some services, maybe you just need a little feedback we have the stress less resume. And basically what I'll do is I'll go into your resume, make a whole bunch of feedback and edits and give you a ton of advice and examples. And you'll go in and actually make those changes. If you're starting from scratch, you can use the stress-free resume. Um, but if you already have a resume, I offer this really great feature, which is the free feedback feature. So it's general and don't be wrong. I read probably two sections of your resume and then I give you some feedback based on that. Um, but I will give you some free feedback. It's if it, I usually respond within 24 to 48 hours. You just click this link and it'll take you to the form. You'll attach your resume. See if you even need our services. A lot of people don't because they're really got their heads on straight and they've got it, you know. Um, but some of them are like, I've never written a resume before in my life. And that's totally fine. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Let me do the stressful part for you. And is um, that link that you're talking about when we go back, that link, is that available in the handout that you have uploaded yes. to speechtherapypd.com? Yep. So everything okay. that's pink is a link. So everything that's pink in any of the slides are is will take you to the page on the website. And it should do the same thing in the handout version. It doesn't let right. me know. Yeah. Um, I do have a special discount code for you guys for speech. PD, you can get 15% off your purchase. This is the highest discount code that I offer even for sales. So take advantage of it. Um, it's a really good discount. And just to give you some perspective, like business oriented resume services charge anywhere between 400 to a thousand dollars for basically the same thing that I'm doing. And I charge between 90 to 270, um, just depending on what package you want to do. But we really try to make it as affordable as we can to the SLP world just because we want to make sure it's accessible and that everybody who wants to do it can. So we work really yes. hard. And because they're just starting out, they haven't even gotten their first paychecks yet, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. So we really try to make it as cost effective as possible just because we know that it's hard to come up with, you know, some of that right when you're getting started. So we want you to get the best job you can and we want to set you up for that. Um, how to find me. Here's all my links. Like I said, everything in pink is a link. So that oh, is... perfect. Okay. So you, you are on Instagram. Yep. We have, you have your Facebook and you do have your website, slpresume.com okay. for people to find you. Yes. Yeah. Great. So, wow. Yeah. So this has me wanting to go back now. And I mean, I've been in the field 16 years and I was thinking, oh, this is great for new grads, but this is actually great for anybody who maybe is, has been away from the field and is coming back into the field or has changed their focus or maybe has just experience in one area, but has recently gotten new experience and want to modify their resume. I mean, this could be, this could be for anybody what you're offering really. Absolutely. We have a lot of actually professional SLPs, exactly what you said, who are maybe coming back into the field or they're shifting from one setting to another, and they're not really sure how their resume should look or just somebody who wants an update. And, you know, maybe they've been in the field for a few years, want to kind of get it refreshed. So it's always good to that. have your resume ready to go, for sure. You never know when a job is going to pop up that you want. Absolutely. Well, this has been super helpful. So we have your tips and strategies. We have the contrast list of how to kind of go a different route than we would see in, in a typical business resume. You shared information about the headers, what to include in your resume. 
We've got some resources. We know a little bit about you now, a little bit more about you and ways that you can take a deeper dive. If you want to take a deeper dive into resume building, how you can link up with Demi and the services that she offers, which is really great because she's an SLP. So she's an SLP and she has that services. So she's right in our field. And that is so very exciting. Thank you, everybody. I do want to touch on right before we close off, because you, if, if you follow me on golden.state.slp on Instagram, you know I love all things mindfulness. So I'm always trying to figure out how we can sprinkle a little bit of mindfulness into each of the activities that we are doing. So I just wanted to point out some tips when you sit down to work on your resume. Some mindfulness strategies you could remember are cleaning and clearing out your workspace. So you can really focus on the present moment, just remove any clutter, open up space for creative thinking, to work on all those great strategies that Demi has shared. You wanna minimize any of those distractions, turn off your cell, minimize your computer while you're working on your resume building. I also recommend considering being very intentional about what you want to accomplish when you sit down. So take that checklist from Demi that she offers and say, okay, what one thing do I wanna work on or accomplish today? Or today I want to complete this section of my resume. So having that intention. Also consider engaging in maybe a two to three minute grounding exercise just to come to the present moment before you sit down to work on that resume. You could do breath work, you could do meditation, informal or informal grounding practices. These are available online. You can also find examples on my Instagram, again, at golden.state.slp. The last thing you wanna do is consider sitting down, working on all these amazing strategies from Demi and working on building your resume if you're in an emotional place or if you're just feeling physically exhausted from your day. And lastly, I recommend coming up with a mantra or a positive affirmation. So basically, we can kind of transfer that positive energy right onto our resumes that we're working on. You really get those good vibes flowing, if you will, will and you're bringing that self-compassion and that self-awareness to the present moment. So maybe you're thinking, you know, your mantras could be, you know what, I am confident and I am educated. And as you're writing your resume, you're thinking, I am worthy. I am open to learning new things or all that I need, I have inside me to do this right now. So remember, when you're taking those strategies from Demi or you consider working with her, make sure you consider setting a designated time, just a little writing block time in your workday. And remember when you're done working, just to give yourself some appreciation for what you did accomplish. Take a moment to appreciate all of your efforts, all of your hard work. Give yourself that pat on the back for the work that you have done and for the steps that you've taken along this journey in securing your dream job. As we close out, I want to share a quote that comes from Scott Shute. I hope I'm saying his last name correctly, S-H-U-T-E. While he was a LinkedIn executive, he shared what makes for a self-aware resume in an article that was published in 2018. And he stated, he says, then there's a we component. And one of the biggest turnoffs for me when I'm interviewing people is if it's very me-centric. I did this. I did that. He said, of course, when you're writing a resume, it's hard not to do a bit of that, but you can also see how someone thinks about their accomplishments. What was the value they provided the company? What was the value that they provided their team or that they provided to their customers? And if they think that way, that shows compassion. And I think that touches on exactly what Demi was sharing with us today when she said, think about your accomplishments rather than just your responsibilities. So Demi, it sounds like you have the perfect strategies for the graduate clinicians that are looking to sit down and get the perfect resume ready that they're going to send out to their future jobs. So thank you so much for being here with us today and sharing your time with us. We are right at the end of our 30 minute session. Again, everybody, there is a handout from Demi. Be sure to download that handout. I've also included a handout for mindfulness strategies, including some of the ones I mentioned today and others that you can keep in mind when you are building your resume. Thank you, Demi. It was great seeing you. And thank you so thank you. much for the value and your wisdom and all these golden nuggets you are offering to the speech field. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Stephanie and Speech Pathology BT. I appreciate it and have a great night, everybody. Yes, absolutely. We loved having you here today. And for everybody else, speechtherapypd.com, that's where you're going to find this course if you weren't here live. 
you can let all of your friends know, go ahead over to the course library and check out that course as well. We will see you back here next week. We are taking the next step in our journey on our roadmap, and we will be stopping to talk about the job search. And we will be here with SLP Treva Graves. We will see you back here next week. Thanks, everybody.